Section 5.4, Medians and Altitudes. A median connects a midpoint to a vertex. So what we do is we find a vertex, we find the midpoint of the opposite side, and we draw a line between the two. That gives us our median. We can see that we can draw three medians in a triangle, and that all the medians are concurrent. The three medians intersect at a single point. And this is true. Let's look at GeoGebra. Here we go. So on our screen, we have triangle ABC, which has all three medians on it in different colors. We have the blue median, the red median, and the purple median. Now, no matter how I change my triangle, all the medians still intersect at point G. Which brings us to theorem 5.8, that the medians of a triangle intersected at a point, which is called the centroid. And we notice something quite interesting about this centroid. Let's focus on the red median first. What we notice is that the centroid cuts our medians into two parts, and that the part from the vertex to the centroid seems to be double the length as the centroid to the side. No matter how I change my triangle, These two parts are always in that 2 to 1 ratio. Well, let's look at another median. Let's look at the blue one. OK, we see that the blue is also in this 2 to 1 ra ratio, that the length from the vertex B to the centroid is double the length from the centroid to the side. And just for fun, let's also look at the purple or pink median. We see that this median is also in a 2 to 1 ratio. The length from the vertex to the centroid is double the length of the centroid to the side. This tells us that it is 2 thirds the distance from each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. What that means is that the midpoint to the centroid is two-thirds of the entire length of the median. And we have this two to one ratio. Let's look at some examples. Below you're given triangle ABC where G is the centroid. You're told that BG is 6, AF is 12, and AE is 15. Go ahead, try to find the lengths of GF, BF, AC, AG, and GE. Pause the video. When you're ready, go ahead and resume and check your answers. Since we have a centroid, first of all, that means that these points on the sides are all midpoints. If AF is 12, then FC is also 12, meaning that AC is 24. We also know, looking at this yellow median, that if the whole length is 15, if we divide 15 into three parts, so 15 divided by 3 is 5, then two of those parts is the length of AG, so AG is 10, and the other part is GE, and that's 5. So GE is 5, AG is 10. Lastly, looking at